In the Depression, the process was working in reverse. The banks were destroying money. Nonetheless, the Federal Reserve let it happen. The end result was that by the time the whole sorry episode was over, by 1933, the quantity of money in the United States had gone down by a third. The slow throttling had turned into strangulation. For every $3 of currency and deposits that people had had in 1929, only $2 were left. For every three banks that were open in 1929, in 1933, only two were left. The terrible depression that followed was a direct result of bungling by the Federal Reserve System. Their monetary policy stifled any hope of economic recovery. 